Hi there, Larry Ann here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. Today I am making the second and final kind of sort of Valentine's themed soap, but not really, but I'm just gonna say it, that it is. Um, I'm making cherry cordial soap. I poured this soap the night before and I have just unmolded it. It will be the cherry in the cherry cordial soap. I'll be placing the cherry into this tube mold in order to make the cherry look like it's floating in the, I don't know, what is it, nougat? Is it nougat or cherry juice? I don't know what's inside, whatever it's called in the cherry cordial. And I'm just putting toothpicks into the cherry so that they hold the cherry, not centered, but in the place that I want it to be inside the tube mold. And I'm just dusting the cherry with a little bit of pearl essence. Uh, I forget what it's called, the exact name. I'll list it below. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but I just thought I'd put it on the embed. Adding color stabilizer to this portion of the fragrance oil, um, which is black cherry. And that is because I want the center of the soap to stay white. If I didn't add that color stabilizer, the soap would turn brown. I want brown on the outside, but I'd like the inside to be white and pink and red. Day one I made the cherry, day two I made the liquid center, and this is day three. I'm gonna cover it in chocolate. I'm being very careful here because I'm not sure if the soap is quite ready to be unmolded, but it turns out that it was ready. Remember to cut the toothpicks out. You don't want to give people soap with toothpicks in it. Almost forgot that I wanted just a little bit of red soap to drizzle on the top of the soap. So the chocolate fragrance oil that I'm using will turn the soap brown. However, it will not turn the soap brown immediately. So that's why I'm adding this brown mic because I want brown soap now. My original plan was to have that flat edge parallel to the bottom of the soap, 
but as you can see, boom, right there, when I push it, it rolled a little bit, and I was going to fix it, but I thought, nah, I think that'll add a little bit more interest to have it a little crooked. My tray is so sad. There's no embeds today. Aww. I'm using this exclusive sandwich bag for piping today. And now a dash of pink Himalayan salt. Mandatory motion sickness inducing shot. Two days later, which means it's time to cut the soap. I'm cutting it sideways because I don't want the salt to leave drag marks on the front of the bars. However, it is making the red piping fall off, so I'm gonna flip it. It's not five and a half inches tall, but I really like the way this soap turned out. Well, I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, and I just want to thank you so very much for taking time out of your busy lives to watch my goofy soap videos. I have a lot of fun making them. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for liking, subscribing, and leaving comments below. It truly means a lot to me. With that being said, I look forward to making many, many more videos. I have a bunch of new ideas that I can't wait to get started on. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day and a fabulous evening. Bye-bye.